Hey guys, it's Brenda from my wee boo brunch kettle. Here I have my newest little one and um, I have a name reveal and she's not wearing a diaper so I need to put her into a diaper. I never did a changing video in a long long time so I'm very excited to be here. Um, she did not come with a diaper but I do have this in my stash. And also, if you watched my videos from years ago, <laughs> and even up until uh, recently, many of you know that I love Wonder Wafers. And when I reweight the babies, I don't have to with this one. She is perfect. Um, but if I do, I cut up a Wonder Wafer and put them inside their body and tuck them in within the polyfill. So what I normally do is I buy a whole whack of them, like 50 <laughs> at a time from McPherson's Crafts online. McPherson's Arts and Crafts online. But the last batch I bought, I was so surprised that they're cutting all the edges off now. Like these used to be a full square and now they're starting to cut them. So I guess they're trying to save money. But I do love this. These are Wonder Wafers. And the cheapest place. I've seen these on Amazon. I've seen these on um, many other online places. But for me personally, the cheapest place for me to buy them is from McPherson's Arts and Crafts. So I normally buy like a whole bunch of them. Um, and they... I either gift them away with um, the Happy Mail I sent, or, um, or <laughs> what was I going to say? Oh my goodness, it's so hot here, you guys. The weather here yesterday was with the humidity up to 43 degrees Celsius. So, let's see. I'm not going to call. I have my other phone here. Let's see, 43, 43 Celsius to Fahrenheit. Yeah, it was, can you see that? 109 Fahrenheit. Now, for a lot of you, that's probably normal, but for me, it's extremely hot. I'm from Northern Manitoba, Canada. So, uh, we typically get a lot of temperatures easily ranging from minus 40 C to plus 40 C and but anything above 40 C oh my goodness <laughs> we just melt we melt so I'm here with uh, her I want to tell you her name I am naming her Carrie Carriana. and the first time I wanted to give her an Inuit name and a Nook name and I do have some Inuit um, babies in my collection with names and like for instance I have a Tassie Kadak and but I call her Tassie for short. And this name is the next name that I really really liked. But look at that. As if I can remember how to spell that all the time <laughs> when I put her on social media. But this name says, uh, uh, what is it? Not Kariana, but Ka Kariana. Ka Ka Kariana. Kariana. But, but this Q sound is really different in the Nuktuk langu <laughs> language. Um, I am Inuit myself, but I wasn't raised Inuk. So, I don't know how to speak their language. Um, I have heard it, and they have so many interesting sounds. I can't, it's like a throat sound for this. I can't even do it. I can't, I can't even come close. I have a half sister, Kiatsik. Why, why am I? <laughs> I'm humiliating myself. I can't even say that word. <laughs> but I'm here, so I decided to name her Kariana. 
that's easier to spell, easier to say. And if you look up the meaning of Kariana, I really, really like it. And she is perfect. She is a, a lookalike of Frances and I, and I absolutely adore her. I am going to change her today into an outfit that she came with. And I also want to put a diaper on her and give her one of these in the diaper. I also wanted to share, what do you think of this, of this doll? I made this, <laughs> but I, I decided I want to, um, like, see, it's like, just like a toy, but I want to glue this hair on. And after I made her, I thought, oh, I should have picked, like, better colors. Like a better contrast. But what do you think? This is my new crafting idea. And I think this side looks better, so I could just change her <laughs> to this side. But these are accessories for the hobby. And... I love, I have other colors too. This is the beads of like um, the pacifiers that I make as well. So I thought, you know what, why not try something new? I do enjoy crafting a lot and I do love trying different things. So what do you think? Do you like them? I have been making pacifier clips and pacifier teething toys. But I've been gifting them away, so I, I haven't been selling them because I have no idea what to charge. And besides, you know what, like I said, I live in northern Canada and shipping is way too expensive for me, so I, I won't be able to sell them, I don't think. But anyways, let's change her. I'm going to put this diaper on her. I have diapers of all sizes in my stash because I own dolls of all sizes in my collection from preemie, micro preemie, all the way up. I even have underwear for my child girl. I have toddlers. <clears throat> That's my ice machine. It's a necessity for us. Yeah. <laughs> Even right now, I'm starting to sweat. So I wanted to, to do this before the heat got really bad again. So as the ice machine is doing its thing. So I'm going to put Kariana into a outfit that came with her. And what also came with her are these beautiful headbands. Now, did I do this wrong? Oh my goodness. Yes, I did. <laughs> with my real sons, they'd be like mussing and crying by now. She is so sweet. She is a big girl, too. So I'll put these Wonder Wafers away. <clears throat> And I also want to open this beautiful thing that came with her. This is a pacifier clip. It's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? So I'll save that. And this also came with her, which is gorgeous. And maybe what I'll do is I'll bring her up to the camera so you can see her up close. She also came with these beautiful shoes that I will her in but this um by the way it was so hot here the other day I did fix her eyelash but it was so 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 hot the glue didn't stick so I'm going to have to buy some glue and reattach that eyelash which I did save but I'm not even bothering now because it's so hot but this is her hair. She's done very, very well. Um, I love her. <laughs> She's a big chunky girl. And I love her painting. It matches our family perfectly. So today, 
this morning it was storming I was gonna put these pants on along with this dress but I think what I'll do is just have the dress on her the humidity is starting to get hot again so and this outfit this is zero to three but is a really big one it's by monkey monkey brand oh it looks so pretty on her I'm gonna leave this onesie on her So I will be trying to make another doll today, like this, this yarn doll. I want to glue this hair on because I do like it. It's just I wish, now I wish I picked like better colors. I do have a huge whack of yarn because I do, I also macrame, I macrame all my pacifier clips and all my teething toys and all my accessories so I do have tons of colors mmm she smells good oh she's so sweet I do have a collection of bonnets but they're put away right now because my dolly room is being taken over by my son. Oh, she's so cute. Oh my goodness. You know what? She sits very nicely. But then you can't see her. Hi, dolly family. <laughs> okay, so what she came with was a selection of this or this. I don't know, I like them both. But I love the contrast of this one. Oh, they're not, I'm, I'll be back, I need scissors. And I'm not pausing you. Aww. I need to pierce her ears. Oh my goodness! Oh! Oh my goodness. Um, I also know how to make footless sandals. So I think I'd love to make her a pair. Um, I, I made some years ago for my toddler girl Bethany. She is a cuddles kit by Donna Rupert and Rupert I mean and um, I made footless sandals for her but I didn't make a separate video like I didn't turn it into a, a, a DIY video or do it yourself so I think what I'll do is I'll do a new one but I did make her some footless sandals and they came out really sweet. So here's your little dolly to play. Yeah, I wanna on the hot glue. I'm gonna dab um some hot glue and then just da keep this hair. And I also wanna try and put like a bow in it. Yeah, I wish I wish I picked more contrasting colors but I can next time. And here's her passy clip, which is just as beautiful. But look. Oh, she is so sweet. I want to pierce her ears. I remember years ago, because I do like my doll's ears pierced, and I remember so many comments saying, who pierces your baby's ears? Like, no one does that. Like, who does that? Some sort of... I even... I was once told it was a cult when I pierced my baby's ears. But... I just deleted them. Excuse my ice machine. Yeah. The things that people used to judge others is unreal. 
Like, I do love my girl's ears pierced. Mm -hmm. And even, I know even some boys mm -hmm. who have their ears mm -hmm. pierced. So, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. To me, I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with piercing a baby's ears. Even if it was a boy. Oh, look. Kiriana is so cute. She is definitely... Okay, I'll be back. I'll try and pause. Or wait. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> so here she is looking very wonderful. I just wanted to show you myself to say hi and thank you so much to everyone who's been leaving comments on my channel. I really appreciate it. I love interacting with you guys. So Anna and I are going to go and put on the air conditioning. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy I have portable AC in the living room and I also have a, a window air conditioner for the bedroom. So I'm totally going to hang out with this cutie. Oh my goodness. I love her. Even though she's missing an eyelash. That's totally fine. I will fix you. Don't worry. I will fix you. And look, I'm starting to sweat. <sighs> Anyways, guys, hope that you're having a great day. Hope that you're staying cool, healthy, and safe. And until next time, very, very soon. Bye, guys. Much time, guys. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye. Much time.